we out here snacking. Hey y'all, it's your girl Haley. I'm the girl behind Brewing Happiness, which is a health and happiness website with recipes dedicated to all definitions of health. Today we're making a snack plate. Snack plates seem very basic, but I feel like we can get in a big rut with snacks and end up eating the same thing or end up eating really mindlessly and not actually like nourishing ourselves when we're hungry. So I decided to put together a plate that's like pretty easy. You could meal prep this at the beginning of the week if you're a meal prepper um, and keep this on hand for that like three or four o'clock desperately need a snack moment, which happens to me I think literally every day. This snack plate is um, really big on healthy fats. It's got a ton of really good um, healthy fats in there like avocados and eggs and some nuts and it's got a little bit of cheese in there just for fun. But it's also got really delicious things like some veggies and uh, the shining star of the snack plate are these apples. This is an Autumn Glory apple. This is what I'm using for the snack plate. You can use really any apple you want. So we're gonna cut and marinate these apples just for a little bit. We're gonna saute them so they're nice and soft on the outside but still have crunch on the inside. Um, and it might seem weird to put an apple with a savory snack plate, but we're gonna marinate these in a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of sea salt. And that savory is gonna play off the sweetness of the apple so well. And it just makes a really fun, unique snack plate. All right, first things first, we're just gonna peel our apple. You don't have to peel your apple, but peeling it um, is gonna help with the textures. And when you marinate them, it allows sort of all of the lemon juices and the oils to kind of seep in more to the apple. Basically, it's more delicious. So I highly recommend peeling your apple. And now we're just gonna cut it into little um, wedges or slices, basically. So you'll remove the core, goodbye. And then I'm cutting these wedges into little half inch thick wedges basically. So this snack plate makes enough for one person or depending on how hungry you are, it could make enough for two snacks. So you could split this up in between two days if you want to. All right, so now we have cut all of our apple and we're just gonna add it to a little bowl here. All right, so to this bowl, we're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil and then one tablespoon of lemon juice. Great. And then you just wanna add a pinch of flaky sea salt to this. You can use regular sea salt here, but I prefer flaky sea salt. And because you don't want these to be super salty, the salt is really just gonna help release some of the flavors and highlight all of the flavors here. And we're gonna let this marinate for about five minutes. While this is marinating, this is the time where you can assemble the rest of your plate. So the rest of your plate looks like this. So we have um, a half of an avocado. You'll add to that just a crumble of feta cheese, about two tablespoons worth, about a tablespoon of pesto sauce. You want a small little handful of nuts. I've used almonds, walnuts, and I have a Brazil nut in there. I've added a seven minute egg, which I prepared a few days ago in my meal prep plan. So if you're meal prepping, you can do that. If not, I would start by making the seven minute egg because that'll take the longest. And then I have two radishes, which I've just cut in half. Um, I'm also gonna toast up half of this piece of naan and add it um, at the end to our pan just to make it nice and warm and toasty and serve with everything here. All right, it's been about five minutes. My pan is now heating over medium heat and once it gets um, to medium heat, I'm gonna add the apples. This is gonna sizzle because we're adding um, lemon juice also to this. So you just wanna be careful when adding your apples. Just make sure every apple has contact with the pan. And then we're just gonna let them simmer on each side for about two minutes maybe. Okay, we're looking like we're ready to flip here. So I just do some nice tossing, yeah, perfect. So we just wanna make sure that each side is getting this nice golden brown toasty thing going on. Okay, so it looks like our apples are about done. I am just going to plate them.
Now I'm just gonna quickly cut our naan. I'm just gonna cut it in half. You could do this with pita as well. So you just make sure each side gets a little bit brown and toasty. Very simple. And then we're just gonna tuck these guys right in here. There we go, there is our Autumn Glory uh, power snack plate. I hope that this kind of inspired you to mix up your snacks and gave you an interesting new idea for what to eat in the middle of the day when you're hungry AF. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat this now. I'll see y'all next time. Until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Bye. Wow, you're so loud. I hate you so much.